Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I kind of wanted to sum up the top five reasons, actually more than five reasons, as to why you should pick up an iPhone 10 in 2020. Now, like I've stated, I have at least five. I'll probably have like seven or eight like I've done in the other videos. And I just came off using my iPhone 10 as a main phone. And I used it for about, I would say, a year and some change, or maybe a little bit less than a year. I honestly don't know. But I switched to the 11 Pro, and then I eventually switched back to my iPhone 10, and I switched back to my 11 Pro just because the iPhone 10 was that great of a phone. And I think now in 2020, this phone is so much more important than it was maybe even last year. And we kind of know what the future of iPhones kind of hold now. And I'll be honest, design wise, there's not a lot of differences between the iPhone 10 and the newer phones of 2020 that are about to come out. And that's probably one of my first main reasons why I would recommend picking up an iPhone 10 in 2020 would definitely be that body style, you know, that body of the notch on the front and that, you know, pretty nice screen and everything that is pretty much going to be ported over to every single iPhone this year as well. And most likely every single iPhone this year is also going to hold a notch. So it's not end all be all i think the notch is perfectly fine but that is something to consider you know if you're going to upgrade there better be a better reason than just the design or something or the way it looks because that is definitely still completely fine on the iphone 10 and like i said in 2020 that's pretty much the design we're going to see as well if you're looking on the front of an iphone 10 and an 11 pro there's really not too many differences and that screen itself on the iphone 10 is seriously so nice still yeah, it might not be as good as the Galaxy S20s that's coming out, but this is a 2017 phone. This phone came out in 2017, you know, so the iPhone X's display and the body is still a crazy thing, and I definitely do like it a lot. Now, the second thing, the price point of the iPhone X is definitely an interesting thing. When this thing came out, it was a $1,000 phone in 2017 late 2017 it was it came out you know i would say earlier closer to 2018 to be honest so this phone is barely even three years old this year at least right now when i'm making this video and this phone right now on amazon is selling for about 400 dollars which is seriously a very very impressive price to pay for a phone like this i mean it's cheaper than a brand new iphone 11 it's even cheaper than a brand new iphone 10r and there's a lot of advantages for picking up an iphone 10 even over an iphone 10 or iphone 11 and i have videos on both of those i've done comparisons many comparisons on those already and i'm telling you right now the iphone 10 the price point of it is still a very good at that around 400 dollars range and i'll even link that down below so you guys can go straight there and pick it up if you want to and you can help support the channel at the same time the third thing is would definitely be the software i mean this thing really i don't even think it's halfway through its software life cycle right now i'm pretty sure it's going to last as long as the iphone 10r 10s and 10s max but i guess we'll see when that officially happens in a couple years from now but without a doubt the iphone 10 software is still a killer thing about this phone and that's really one of the main advantages to still pick it up would definitely be the software the galaxy s20 that's coming out is a brand new phone and even that i'm pretty sure the iphone 10 is going to outlast the samsung galaxy s20 which is pretty crazy to say so the software on this phone is still a killer thing for this phone for sure and one of the highlights of it for sure so the fourth thing is would definitely be the check rain jailbreak you guys already know funny enough the uncovered jailbreak just came out yesterday or two days ago and i made the video talking about an install and everything and even now in 2020 with that jailbreak in hand with the uncovered jailbreak for the newer iphones i still think the check rain jailbreak is much much better for sure basically because you can still pick up an iphone 10 on any ios version whether it's on ios 11 ios 13 or in the future if it's on ios 14 15 16 whatever you will be able to jailbreak that specific device on any ios version which is super impressive and that's one of the main things i love about this phone for sure so without a doubt i will definitely tell you the check rain jailbreak is one of the biggest accomplishments that these older iphones have gotten and one of my favorite things about these phones for sure now the fifth thing the performance of this phone is still top tier you guys probably already seen my comparisons i've done of the iphone 10 not only against the iphone 10s and all those phones but against the iphone 11 11 pro 11 pro max like i've compared the iphone 10 to all these phones even now in 2020 i'm going to compare it to the galaxy z flip i have even the galaxy s20 that's coming out and i can tell you without a doubt the iphone 10 is still going to hold its own the performance of this phone is still top tier and there's a reason people are still holding on to them it's because it's a killer phone with the killer specs and killer performance inside of it and the performance of this phone definitely still gets a thumbs up in my books now the sixth thing and the seventh thing i guess i'll split these into two the camera of the iphone 10 is still very very good like i said in my other still worth the videos if you watch those the iphone 10 has a dual camera setup a wide angle lens and a 
telephoto lens and like i've stated in my other videos as long as you have a dual camera setup on your phone you're pretty much future proofed up until like 2020 maybe even 2021 all these phones now are having like five camera setups in their phones and all that and if you don't at least have a dual camera setup you're going to be kind of outdated so without a doubt the iphone 10 gets a thumbs up in my book for the camera and also the battery life man the battery of the iphone 10 is definitely above average and i would consider it more of a pro than a con it's not like a super crazy powerful phone it doesn't have like 20 gigs of ram and all that stuff it doesn't have a crazy processor to run the software on this thing is very good it doesn't suck up a lot of battery but on top of that the battery size of this phone being over 2700 million powers is still a plus for this phone and i think without a doubt the battery life for this phone is definitely more of a pro than a con and those are just a couple reasons as to why i would recommend picking up an iphone 10 in 2020 I think it's still a killer phone. Like I said, it has so much going for it. And I'm really curious to see if you guys have any other reasons why you would pick up an iPhone 10 in 2020 besides the one I listed. Let me know in the comment section below. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, you can leave them down there too. Hit that like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So that means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.